104.9 Sunshine FM. Tracy minus the big D tonight. Don't forget we are going on holidays as of Friday, so we won't be with you next week, but we will have a two-hour Mac Track show lined up for you. Darren's going to be a little bit annoyed because we have a beautiful young lady joining us tonight, and this is the first time she's been on the Tracy and the Big D show, and I'd like to welcome Sophia Chessworth to our show. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. I have to put in a little naughty note from Darren. He's actually working a little bit late tonight, so we're going to, we'll pardon him this time for that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. This is the first time you've been on our show. Tell us a little mm-hmm. about who Sophia is, where you come from, like where do you live, all that sort of stuff. So I live in the inner west of Sydney, and I'm 15, so I'm in year 10 at school. But I, I really try to balance my schoolwork with my music, but music is definitely my priority. And I come home and I just can't wait to write songs and prepare some cover songs and singing for gigs on the weekend. And I just, I love to write about experiences I see throughout the day. And I really just try to get myself out there as much as possible because I love it. So being in year 10 and you're a bit of a country artist, how do the kids at school, how do they accept country music? They're really supportive of it, definitely. I know that um, not all of my friends, country music isn't their favourite genre, Mm -hmm. but they definitely support my music and I'll always have country music playing and they really learnt to actually like it and they they know lots of my favourite songs and they can sing along every now and then and yeah, it's great. They're all so supportive. Because the couple that we have heard from um, from yourself have been more ballad types. Uh, do you do any mm. country pop or anything like that? I'd say I'm a little bit, I tend to be a little bit folky ballady. I really like to put a lot of meaning in my songs. I think I'd say Shine On Me is a little bit country pop. I feel it has that sort of vibe that, yeah, I really find it hard to pinpoint a certain genre onto mm. some of my songs. I find it really difficult to do that, actually. Alternative country, there you go. That fits you yeah, straight in there. <laughs> bit of Fanny <laughs> Lumsden a bit of Shane Nicholson and they sort of mix it all together. Yes, I and love them. They're great. Mm, I really feel like country is a really open industry and it's really accepting to all types of country and I really like that. Different types of music you can listen to. Yeah, it's very important you know, now you're talking to yourself, as you said you're 15, you're still at school, you're in year 10 and that's such a, a musical time too but you know, and it is hard and you know you go home and, or you talk to these people and say, oh you know Sophia, my friend at school likes country music and their mum goes, oh does she like country and western? It's like, hey you need to listen listen to today's music because yes there is still country and western there's traditional country but there is pop country there's modern there's folk there and as you said it is such a broad banner now um, that everybody can find something within it if they just take a little listen. Mm, Definitely I really feel like I've opened my friends eyes up to the industry a bit more. I feel like I've taught them a bit about country music. Oh, excellent. So do you play many instruments? Well, um, guitar is definitely my main instrument. I love it. I've been playing it for a few years now, but um, I do know basic piano. Mm -hmm. So chords to get me through singing, it's definitely on, like, as a background instrument to my singing. And I got a ukulele for Christmas. Nice. Yeah, it's so much fun. It's actually been pretty easy to pick up considering I know the guitar so I've been playing a few songs on that and it's really fun and when I went to the Gimpy Music Master I actually won um, a mandolin. Ah so so you got that to learn as well. Yes I know a few chords but it's definitely the more difficult instrument out of the four instruments so (laughs) yeah I'm working on that. The singles out at the moment shine on me it's getting some great airplay at the moment. How did this song come about? Last year I was just sort of feeling a little down. I was having a few throat issues with my singing and I got checked for nodules and it was all clear and I was just really confused and I started to feel uh, like really down about it and I was thinking, is this ever going to work out? But then I thought to myself, like, you're not going to get anywhere down here. You have to pick yourself up and start believing again. That's really how the song came about and I wrote it and it just really made me feel a lot better in that time and I've definitely got over that now. <laughs> oh, excellent. Now, for anyone who want to get hold of that, obviously you're up with today's technology. Um, can we get this on iTunes or how do people get a hold of the, the single? Well, mm-hmm. it's on iTunes and... Mm-hmm. And it's on Spotify and you can also find it on YouTube. Oh, too many places. There we go. There's not a chance, no reason why you shouldn't have it in your playlist right now, people. So there we go. Sophia Chesworth, get on to iTunes, all those ones there. The song is Shine On Me. And how about we have a listen to it now? And hopefully we'll catch up with you in the next couple of months, Sophia, and see where you're going, what's doing, and where people can get more of your music. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate all the support. Anytime. Good luck. And here she is right now, Sophia Chesworth and Shine On Me. Oh.